Hey girls, it's Wednesday! Um, I'm doing a direct upload again because I, I don't have, I don't have time today. I'm working really, really hard on this other video and there's still so much to record and so much to do and I forgot that it was Wednesday and I have to do certain things before my parents get home because it involves recording in their bathroom because the acoustics are really good in there and, and when, also once they get home the house is less quiet so it's harder for me to record efficiently anyway. So direct upload, I'm sorry, I know I look fabulous pajamas. I took my makeup off after work because I forgot that I had to make a video today. Woo! Yay. Anyway, at least I had the intro music ready this time. Um, whoo, Karis! This we're getting right into it, guys. Karis, it was really nice to meet your brother. Uh, he seems cool, and I look forward to meeting him in person this summer. Oh, I guess I just let that slip, huh? I didn't know if we were gonna, we were gonna, Keep this a, a secret or not? I think I'm going to keep it a secret on my main channel for now. Make it a surprise. But I guess you girls should probably know Karis and I are going to meet in real life. I'm going to Scotland this summer to stay with Karis. Yep. <laughs> I'm very, very excited. <laughs> um, Karis, you talked about... Uh, wanting to be YouTube famous but not for the sake of fame, and I think Sharon talked about this too, like, it's like you wanted to be able to be friends with the people who are YouTube famous, and I, I, uh, definitely agree. There are a lot of YouTubers that I just, I love as people, and I would really like to, like, actually get to hang out with them. Uh, that is, that is a really good point. But I also think that I would love to make money off of YouTube. Like, I would love to do YouTube professionally. And you sort of have to be YouTube famous to be able to do that. So, uh, next point I just wrote, being non-confrontational. I don't remember what that was about. But yeah, I don't think it's all bad to be non-confrontational. That's a, that's a, sort of a hard word to say. Anyway, um, you talked about Eric Whitaker. Eric Whitaker is my absolute favorite choral composer ever. You may have noticed that when I linked some of my choir stuff before, um, it was, it was, uh, one of them was an Eric Whitaker song, Sleep, is my favorite song I've ever done in choir, but he has some other very, very beautiful stuff, too. He, um, I love Water Night, I love Luke Sarumque, um, uh, Seal Lullaby is really beautiful. It's not my favorite by him, though, and, uh, he does this virtual choir. Do you guys know about the virtual choir? It, I think there's four now. He does it every year, and I was part of this last one, and then they also did one in collaboration with Disney, and you had to submit a video of you singing your part. That's what the virtual choir always is. But this is with a song that he wrote for a winter Disney show at Disneyland. And it was like part of the show was going to have, they picked, I think, like 700 of the submitted videos to be part of the video. And it's like all projected on water at in this night Christmas show. There's a video of it. I'll link it to you if you can. There's like a, a video of somebody watching the show and then an actual like video of just the song. Anyway, so I was part of that and that was really cool uh, link down there. So sorry it's shaking, but you know, laptops. Um, also, I definitely thought that you knew that I was single because it's been a while now, you know, but I guess I had already stopped going on the boards then. So... You know, yep, I'm single. I'm totally fine with it. So, um, Kat, your uh, zombie game sounds so, so cool. Uh, my senior year in high school, a bunch of the IB kids, not a bunch of them, all of them did, like, a huge game of Assassin. And, uh, and it, it, like, went on for, like, weeks. And everybody was, like, wearing gloves all the time to avoid getting killed and... It, I don't know, it was like, I didn't get to participate because I wasn't in IB anymore, but my best friend was, and, uh, man, it was crazy, man, and people were getting really paranoid about everything. It was funny. Um, yeah, also your Disney drawings, I said this on Facebook and in the comments, but your Disney drawings were awesome, and they made me so happy, and I think you did a really good job, so hooray, you did better than I could have done, <laughs> for sure. Um... Uh, Claire, it was so nice to see your mom on camera. You should tell her that I say hi. I've I've met Claire's family, for those of you who don't know. I have met 
all of her immediate family before. They're pretty, they're pretty great. Um, so yeah, tell her I say hi. And also that poem that she wrote before you were born, that was so, oh, that was so cool. I think that's amazing that you have that. That's such a great keepsake. So, um, Sharon, the definition of introvert versus extrovert. You said that by the definition of where you get your energy from, that you were an introvert. And the thing is, that's why I say it's like, if you're taking it by that definition, then I'm both. Because I need a certain amount of alone time in order to keep up my energy, but I also need a certain amount of social time not to keep up my energy. And then it also depends on what I'm doing in my alone time and who the people are that I'm socializing with, because there are people that never fill me. There are people that just drain me all the time and make things worse and sometimes you still need to hang out with them because maybe you're the person that fills them but yeah and like if I'm in my alone time I mostly in my alone time but especially like if I'm journaling and stuff then that's that's what like fills me and gives me energy um so I don't know I don't know if I totally agree with that definition because I feel like everybody always needs a little bit of both but maybe not I don't know. Um, uh, I do think I told my YouTube story in another video, and I know that you already know it, but a uh, friend, I had sort of gotten into making videos. I didn't know that there was a YouTube community before I moved to the U.S., and then after living here in, for like four months, a friend of mine introduced me to, it was less than four months, it was like two months probably, a friend of mine introduced me to Charlie So Cool Like, uh, back when he was still a 16 year old making videos in his bedroom and uh, I got really into his videos. I had the biggest YouTube crush on him ever and then uh, from there I found the Vlogbrothers and Five Awesome Girls and Five Awesome Guys and all them and uh, that was the start of it and hey, now I'm here doing Vlog a Latte. Yeah, and my video is seven minutes long, and I'm sorry. So I will go now. I I love you all. Wait, today is awesome because even though I have a lot of work to do on this video, I'm really, really excited about it um, because I think if I can pull it off, it's going to be really good. So hooray. All right. Uh, I love you, girls. Uh, Karis, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.